Dad's a philosophy student. He's also in a post-war situation in the 50s in America. He would be against metaphor because he would understand instantly, I think, that metaphor could not in any way be a vehicle of meaning after the Holocaust and the dropping of the atom bombs. That metaphor had been called into serious question and serious doubt, and that he had to find a way to make art that could exist on its own terms without the support of metaphor, one might say, without the scaffolding of metaphor. He's identified with a group of artists, the minimalists, because all of them are questioning what's possible in art. And they're not simply getting rid of something, they're literally trying to find out what can be done. How can you make art in this situation? He's trying to do something that's physical and visual on a simultaneous level. And I think he moves into, because he wants to make American art, he brings in American materials, galvanized steel in the beginning, plywood, copper, and plexiglass. I think all these materials he found intrinsic beauty in, and he showed us that beauty by the way he presented it to us. That's really one of the things about Judd that just distinguishes him from everybody else, even from the other minimalists. Maybe Donald Judd, actually, is the first truly American artist.